Uh, do you guys ever just look at your system and you're like, I'm so happy of all this stuff. And you know, I can craft all of this stuff too. I mean, look at all this. Do, can I, do I want 100 speed upgrades? I kind of do. I'm going to make those real quick. I'm going to make this see. <laughs> How long is this going to take? Not lo oh, I didn't mean to cancel it. Hold on. I'll make some energy upgrades to compensate. Give me 80 of these. And look at it go. Is that not amazing? I think that's pretty amazing. And you guys may be wondering how I was able to do all that. But before I get into that, hello, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of All the Mods 9, where today we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I have a clipboard here of things I need to do. And you guys want to notice we did some mechanism auto crafting. And we did do that already. However, my recording was kind of bad. <laughs> and my mic wasn't set up yet. So I I'll show you guys what I did and I'll montage it probably because I still have the recording. It's my microphone. That's the problem, which you guys might notice. I have a new microphone. Hopefully it sounds better. Let me know. Um, it was really expensive, so <laughs> I am investing a little bit into this YouTube thing, which speaking of YouTube, we are so close to a thousand subscribers. So if you guys do enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and whatnot. And the like button helps me out a lot and it makes me happy. So please do it. But without any further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys what we did. So I'm going to quickly just montage this a little bit, right? Uh, and then I'll be back and explain. Explain. Over here is pretty simple, right? I am just taking the infused types or infused materials from this ME interface that is automatically taking them from our system and putting them into all of these with laser IO. And then we have different recipe pattern things here. And then another thing is you might notice that these are named and that's because some of my comments and in my live stream was the same person told me I can just name these. And now I have these named as well. So I should be able to see like this is named Crusher because that's, you know what it is. And I can see that in my ME system that makes my life a lot easier. So, and the other big thing that's happening is we're auto crafting all of this stuff in the exact same way that we're doing all this with exporters in the back here. And if I could get here, see all of that happening. And then another thing you might notice is our base is enclosed a little bit more. Can you believe it? I know I can't. Uh, and we also did this on live stream and I had a really good time live streaming with you guys and getting to talk with some of you. So I'm probably gonna be doing it again soon and working on the base a little more. But anyways, but anyways, that is the recap of what happened with my mic and whatnot. Seriously, do let me know if you like the mic because uh, it took me a little a long while to set up. But what are we doing today? Well, we have mechanism auto crafting done. You might notice another thing here, and that's lithium. Now, lithium is a bit of a complicated thing, kind of not really, that we need from mechanism. And how do we get this, you might ask? Well, I think we need liquid lithium, yes. And we need to make the thermal evaporation chamber. And this is gonna make brine, a gas, and whatnot. And I could just set this up randomly somewhere. However, I have already allocated a space for, oh, there's no sign here. I thought I had a sign here. I guess I got rid of it. Uh, this will be gas and liquid storage for mechanism. And also when we get into Greg Tech. So that's gonna be really useful to have all of that storage. And it's just gonna make our base like look cool. <laughs> Along with this liquid and gas storage, I'm also gonna need a mechanism chemistry. You know, also what's happening is my game is lagging because this is on. I gotta turn this off. <laughs> um, but I'm also going to need some sort of chemistry room to make brine and whatnot and all the stuff we make from the different things and mechanism. So I'm thinking I'm gonna build something here. So I'm gonna need to do liquid storage and then also we're gonna have to do this. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. And the end goal by today is to actually be able to make the induction uh multi-block for power storage for from mechanism so we'll see how far we get though that that may need to be a thing we do next episode i don't know anyways i'm sure you guys know what time it is right come on come on come on nothing's changed for me at least it's montage time
Yes, this thing I think turned out really well. Uh, I really like the ceiling actually. This <laughs> this made me really happy, but this is gonna be, I think by the way, I might put my normal storage in here as well. And then I need to redo this room completely. So I'm not really that upset that I had to dig into it literally. So I am probably gonna move actual storage into this room as well, because I mean, look at all this. Do I really need all this space for just liquid and gas? The answer is no. No, I do not need that much space. <laughs> However, I do need a lot of space for some mechanism chemistry going on because uh, for brine, we need the thermal evaporation chamber, which, uh, hold on, I gotta figure out how I do this. Not brine, is it brine? Yes, yes. So we need the thermal evaporation chamber, which if you guys remember, it was supposed to be part of the video, but I'm sorry, guys. I, I messed up. <laughs> it's not. We did mechanism auto crafting, so I should be able to just teach my system how to do all of this. And I can just like make it straight up. We're gonna do another quick little montage here. I need to get to building this, right? I need to get started in today's episode. I feel like I've been talking a lot. So, montage time. Oh. Yeah, oh. I moved somewhere. I didn't mean to move here. Anyways, guys, it is done. Oh, I moved to the right place to check that out. So I decided that I actually didn't really need that much space for mechanism chemistry in particular. So because I really don't know how much we're actually going to do mechanism specific chemistry, which is what this room is kind of designed for. And we might put more stuff in here eventually. I think it turned out well. It's also going to be kind of like a hallway to the next section of my base, which I have no idea if I'm going to need one ever. But uh, if we ever need to expand this way, you know, we can. We have to deal with the monster box, though, because that is over in this direction as well but regardless it is time to finally get into this oh my gosh <laughs> i need brine and that's gonna do a lot of things for us actually we're gonna be able to automate a lot of stuff so what i'm gonna do is i need to figure out exactly how many of each of these we need and we're also gonna need a heat generator if i'm not mistaken all right, so I believe I actually have a lot more freedom with this than I thought. So what we're going to do is I think I'm going to put the thermal evaporation chamber right here. Okay, so for whatever reason, this multi-block is a 4x4, four four, right? It's like this. I think that's so strange. I mean, it is what it is, but it's so weird, right? And it's not just me that thinks that. This should be fine. It'll look fine from the inside here, which is all that really matters. And I can make this thing really tall because, like I said, we can kind of go crazy because I'm basically rich in all of this stuff like i can i can build this all the way up to the top all right so i believe i have it working now i only have one valve on here right now and i don't think you can put them on the corners which kind of stinks so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that <laughs> right so i'm gonna have the heat valve here though i should be able to put a valve here so this one can take out the brine and then i'm also gonna need one for water so i guess i can put that probably right here i guess i can put some of the valves back here so this guy i believe i can set to Oh, this is the heat generator. I need... I made the wrong thing. Another thing that bothers me is every time I go to building creative and I turn on JEI cheat mode and I turn over to this world, <laughs> it, it stays like on the red wrench. Guys, I don't know why it does that. Okay, so I need the resistive heater. I made the wrong thing. So boom. And the way that this guy works... So for Brian, you need heat, right? And I just realized, how am I going to get this heat from there to there? That makes no sense. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have my it's thermodynamic conductor right here. So this is going to transfer the heat. You're already making heat. Now you, I believe I set the amount of RF I want to see. Now how much... This isn't really getting hot. I'm going to use 10,000 FE a tick. Now this should make a lot of heat because of that. And this is going to need power. Okay. So this is now using... Uh, I'm going to do 10,000 FE a tick. Now this is going to make a lot of heat, hopefully, right? So it's going to make a stupid amount. That's That makes a noise. Don't want to keep the noise there? I don't think so. So this is going to heat up really fast, which is really good. Now I don't think this should explode or anything. It's not crazy like that. But does this need to use 10,000 FE a tick? No. Do I want it to? Yes. Now another thing we're going to need, I think we literally just need to give this water. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to give it a sink with a mechanical pipe and we should be good to go. So now you should be getting water. Yeah, we're making brine. <laughs> we're making brine. Sweet. Okay. All right. So now that I have brine, I want to send this to liquid storage, actually, which I'm not sure how I want to do. <laughs> right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have this just sent through an importer and then have an external storage in here. Right. So have one of these specific tanks for brine. So that also means I'm going to need to connect up a P2P to over here, right? I need channels for this. So let me go ahead and kind of get that going real quick, which hopefully shouldn't take me too long. 
Okay, so I have channels over here, and we should be good to go. <laughs> I have this extended import bus. I don't know if it needs to be extended, but it's whatever, right? So I have this. I don't know. Do I need a specific one for fluid? Yeah, I believe it should just automatically pick up fluids, so I don't need to worry. Now, really, I just need to get channels up here, so I should be able to just kind of move this around. Okay, and then also one more thing is I'm coloring my main network orange and my P2P network is just the normal color. So right now I don't have any fluid storage, but I, if I were to grab like a bucket, for example, head over to the chemistry room, I'm assuming I can just grab it out of here. Nope, I cannot. This, it should be liquid brine. So can I do this? There we go. So now if I go ahead and I go to fluid and gas storage, I should be able to put it in one of these tanks, right? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, then let me also, I need to set up the functional storage for this as well. I also need channels over here. There's a lot I got to do. Hold on. All right. So here in a second, I have the storage bus connected. It should be online once I connect this P2P. Now, it, like I said, it is unlinked right now. So as soon as I link it up, we should be able to see this brine in my system. So I can change this. So I want this to be fluids only. Boom. Okay. So now once I go ahead and connect the P2P, we should be good to go. Okay. So now I should see this filling up with brine, which it is. Check that out. So that means we now have brine in our system automatically being exported from our chemistry room over here into, yeah, we can see it being exported here into our system. So that is kind of cool. And then let me go ahead and make it so it exports a lot faster with some more acceleration cards. So something like that going on. So now you should be doing that a lot faster. 1.5 thousand buckets. We can go more. 6,000 buckets. I think I'm okay with that. So we're going to go ahead and make some gaseous brine with this. Now, I do want to store gaseous brine, but I'm not going to need that much of it. And I'm going to want to make salt. And I believe, what else can I make with gaseous brine? I don't know. But normal brine, we're also going to need to use to make chlorine and sodium, which is something I definitely want to do. And that should be the most of it for brine. And then also liquid lithium, which is something that's going to be very useful. So all of this stuff we are going to have to make. So this is going to be a little bit similar to the setup we have over at the midpoint of our base, like over here where I'm going to have stuff exporting. It might be slightly different. So I'm going to quickly walk you guys through what I want to do. So I need this brine to uh, see. I have this in a weird spot. So I want the brine that we're making to be turned into gaseous brine. I'm going to have an export bus on this thing. And then this is going to be brine. Now this should work. Oh, there we go. Now we're working. Okay. So now this just needs power, which Okay, so I'm going to hook up power like this. So you should be getting power. You should be decondensating into gaseous brine. Now, I don't know what kind of upgrades I can put in here. So let's go with speed, energy. You should make a whole bunch of gaseous brine. Now, I don't know how much of this I really need to store, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to make an ultimate chemical tank. This should be more than enough gaseous brine for like what we need. Um, the gaseous brine, I think, is for the most part just for mechanism stuff. So I'm going to have this on the top. I'm going to have you eject. Um, Maybe I should move this. Yeah, I can move it to the bottom and that might make things a little easier. I think that'll be easier. And then I can put this back here. And then what I'm going to need to do is I want a storage bus. Now, I'm not sure if it looks like there is a add on that I should be able to see gases. Now, I don't know if there's a specific terminal for it. Uh, it's called applied mechanistics. OK, I'm not sure if there is actually a way for me to be able to see that stuff, but our system should be able to see this. This is, did I need to make this big of a thing for gaseous brine? I don't think so. I just realized how much this was. So now I'm also going to want to make salt. So I'm going to do that up here and I'm going to have just another exporter. And then I should be able to put gaseous brine in here. Ah, okay, did I figure it out? I don't know. This thing, this thing has been so weird for me. I'm still like fidgeting out with the gases and whatnot because I don't know super duper how it's supposed to work. Like, are you going to keep filling up? Okay, okay, I think I did figure it out. Okay, I figured out it was the side conflict that was the problem. That makes my life a lot easier. I've been working on this for like 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> right, uh, okay, so what I need to do is I want you to have upgrades on you and then you are making salt. Um, I think I am just gonna put straight up the barrel up here. I don't really have a problem with that, right? So just get something like this going on and then I'm gonna have items output on the top and then we should be good to go, right? So this should be the only item I need from this and I can just kind of hook this up to the system. I'm just gonna use a storage bus. Awesome, so now I should have salt. So now that I have salt and brine and gaseous brine done, which I don't, I really don't think I need to make that much, but I'm an native king and all of this is full. So let's go, right? Um, I'm happy about that. <laughs> I can go ahead and mark this stuff off the list. I need chlorine, sodium, and liquid lithium. Now sodium, I'm not super, yeah, which is also just 
brine. <laughs> brine makes sodium and chlorine, so that's going to need an electrolytic separator. Now, we can use this stuff for different things like hydrogen chloride, which I'm not going to do yet, but we will eventually. And sodium we're going to use for, as you can see, the fission reactor eventually. And then liquid lithium, I know, I think there is some stuff with, yeah, see, there's also stuff in Greg Tech. And then also lithium I need to use to make lithium dust. So I'm going to need an electrolytic separator. Oh, I already have one. So actually, I think what I'm going to need first, so this is the one that just uses brine. Do I want to put that over here? I might because i'm making brine over here so i'm gonna kind of do the same thing here so if i wasn't stuck right um what i should be able to do i still have channels on this line i need to take brine and put it into here it looks like it worked <laughs> right so hey can i turn all of this off except for so what i need to do now is i need to turn both of these into liquids now i'm gonna need some of the rotary i don't so now I have a unique problem where I don't really have a whoa. I don't really have enough space in order to like export both of these gases to put in rotary condensators. So here's what I'm going to do. A little bit of uh, AE tech. I'm going to put a storage bus on this electrolytic separator so it should have access to the sodium and the chlorine. And that should fix our problem. I do some more moving around. <laughs> I went ahead and I'm just not going to have the chemical tank of gaseous brine because I kind of need this space. Um for another storage bus. I should be able to see both of these in my system. And now what I need to do is have a rotary condensator, two of them, turn these into liquids so I can store them. Cause I don't know how much I really care about the gases at the moment. So this should be relatively simple. I'm gonna have my rotary condensators like this. Now, can I, can I turn these around? So I'm gonna have my export buses like this. Okay, I figured it out and that is loud. I gotta turn that back off. Jeez. Okay, so the way these were rotated made it really weird. So make sure that it's importing from the back for whatever reason it likes to do it that way. I don't know why. I don't get it. So now I'm making liquid chlorine and liquid sodium, which is perfect. That is exactly what we want. Let me go and upgrade these guys and we should be good. Let me go ahead and get these guys a spot in fluid storage. Okay, so now that I have chlorine and sodium, I think I just marked these off the list. I need to make liquid lithium, which is also just brine. So I'm gonna need a whole nother thermal evaporation chamber, which I don't think should be hard at all. I'm just gonna copy the same exact setup over here. Okay, so once I connect this up, I should be making, hypothetically, some liquid brine. So you should be getting, you're getting that. Uh, oh wait, I don't need water. What all right, so now I'm making liquid lithium. Now it's really slow right now because I haven't upgraded this. So let me quickly go ahead and do that. Oh, all right, I think we're good now. So I'm making liquid lithium here. So I'm going to go ahead and also give this some fluid storage. Going to upgrade it once. So I should be getting a whole bunch. Yep. Okay, we're, we're, it's working. <laughs> I'm getting the liquid lithium that I need. This should be enough, Ryan. We're making liquid lithium. And is it already full in fluid and gas storage? Wow, that filled up really fast. So now I'm going to need another rotary condensator. And we're just going to turn it into a gas again. And then from there, we're going to turn it into lithium dust. Awesome. So now I'm making lithium. Check that out, guys. All right. So I believe I have this all set up now. Now I want this drawer to be able to hold a lot of stuff. So is one diamond upgrade going to be enough? How much can you hold? 49,000. Does that sound good? <laughs> uh, I'm going to hold more. Simply because I remember the induction cell being absolutely preposterous, like 393,000. That should be fine. We should not need more than that. And then I should be able to just put a storage bus on it and we're good to go. And that should be the last channel on this line as well. Awesome. So now I should be able to see the lithium hopefully being made right here. Yes. I kind of wish it would be faster. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I might make more than one of these chemical crystallizers. Yeah, let me do that. <sighs> so I have been AFK in my world for a little bit because I need a lot of lithium. And I do think we're actually going to be able to like kind of get started on what I wanted to do today. <laughs> right. And that would be the, the what is it called? The induction cell. Yeah, the mechanism induction cell. Now, obviously, uh, all of this is unfinished. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to finish it today. We'll find out. Probably not, but this is gonna, probably going to be a live stream project. So be on the lookout for that. Now, I would like to do a 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, uh, but that needs 125 different of these. Now, it is upgradable, so it's probably going to be what I end up doing because these are like really good but i just i don't know how much these i can actually make <laughs> right because 125 of like the ultimate like let's let's see how much because let's say i wanted to do 100 of these i yeah yeah actually i'm not that far off i just need more steel and osmium <laughs> that's not that bad but if i i don't know if i can mix and match them like 10 i could probably easily make though speaking of which osmium is probably gonna become a 
issue here pretty soon. Yes, yes it is. So ore processing may be on the to-do list, actually. <laughs> I don't have any osmium. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I guess I could make a B, but that'll probably happen in between episodes. So I do think I'm going to make the 7x7 induction cells. So I'm going to need, uh, how many casings was it? I'm not, 216 induction casing. Can I make that? As a matter of fact, I can't make that. That's actually really cheap. So that's all of that done. And then I'm also going to need two induction ports. Should be simple enough. Now, out of curiosity, can I make 100 of these? Almost. I just need... Uh, that's oh, This is expensive, guys. Do you see this? If I wasn't like crazy rich, this would be almost impossible. I think I'd see more Osmium. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is... I could make a B. That might be the way to go. <laughs> or I could go mining. But Which that does remind me, at some point we are going to have to do ore processing. But um, we're not at that point yet. <laughs> I could probably do it soon now that I have all this chemistry done though. So it's, it's definitely on the to-do list. Okay, so actually, I don't really want to make the B yet. I probably will at some point, but I want to wait until I can get a bunch of B upgrades. I'm going to go mining, guys. I <laughs> Something I have not done in a long time, but I need Osmium uh, really badly. So I guess, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It shouldn't be that hard to find, hopefully. You know, I will say after a while of not mining, this is actually pretty refreshing. Alrighty, so I've been mining for not that long, really. I, this Fortune 9 picks is pick is ridiculous but I, i'm not gonna lie to you guys i had a pretty good time <laughs> like i had a good time doing this mining trip so i guess i'm gonna try and just process this now so i should be seeing my osmium supplies going way up now you know what i should do is i should upgrade all of the ore processing things that i do have and this should make things a lot faster, I hope. But anywho, we are getting a lot of osmium. Now, if I wanted to make the induction stuff, how much stuff was I missing for 100 of these? 10,000 osmium. Okay, we don't need to do that. But let's say I wanted 100 of these. Could I get that? I could once the osmium is done. So we're almost there. So while I'm waiting for the osmium to finish, I'm going to go ahead and build the 7x7 structure. Now, how is the 2, 3, 4? That is going to take up this whole thing here, which I'm hoping will be look okay at least <laughs> right so i can have all of these here and then these need to be obviously built up okay and then i'm gonna wait to put the ports on here until we actually build this whole thing now i don't is there a controller for this i don't think there is i think it just builds itself which is kind of cool right so now it's just a matter of me waiting for the amount of osmine I, I need in order to make over the 100 of these guys so yeah can start crafting 100 of these and then we need 25 of um the providers but let's go i how long is this gonna take and this should be running like crazy. Maybe I should have more than one infusing factory for redstone. All right, so I spent the last like 10, 20 minutes on this. Uh, I decided to go ahead and make a whole thing dedicated to infusing with redstone. Now, this is a little different than over here, simply because I also have to deal with multiple types of items. So I figured easiest way to deal with that is just with an ME interface. Now, I kind of want to do the same thing with diamonds, but uh, we'll see, though. <laughs> right, I want to see if I can now make, or rather, how long it's going to take me to make 100 of these. So, still going to need a whole bunch of stuff, but if I hit start, how much faster is this going to craft? Okay, so everything here is going. This is... Wow, okay, that is full of iron. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect that, but this should be going a lot... Wow, yeah, this is a lot faster. The amount of energy cubes I have from this. <laughs> like, when, like, my molecular assemblers literally cannot craft any faster than this. And then... Look at this. They are starting to craft. Ooh, you know, I am also going to need more than just this. I'm also going to need 25 of these, which... Do I even have enough stuff for? No. Any more osmium? <laughs> here in a second, I should be able to. So, yeah. I'm going to be here another minute, and then I'll be back. That was beautiful. Seriously. Now, I should be able to completely build this thing. I am so excited. Oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> get these in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then I can go ahead and completely get rid of this guy now. I really hope this doesn't just dismantle my... Like, how fast are you going to drain? We got to hurry. We got to hurry up and do this. So you... Uh, I need the configurator on these, don't I? Your output, your input. So you should start taking in. Yep. And then once I grab this, my network now... Boom. Okay. <laughs> right. So now I should be able to see all the information about this and whatnot. And this is done. I am about to start holding a lot of like a lot of power. I don't even know if we're ever going to fill this. Like, 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of All The Ones Nine. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the subscribe button down below. It, I would really appreciate it. We're getting close to a thousand subs. I'm getting really excited. I really hope we can actually reach it. Hit the like button if you also enjoyed it. It helps with the algorithm, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm supposed to say that, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with today's episode. We did a lot. All right. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode of All The Mods 9. Later.